Hello. Uh, today I'd like to show another very interesting chess software. Uh, it's called uh, Skid, and the particular version I'm using Skid versus PC. Uh, it's uh, the latest version that I got um, today. It's it's a free software, so you can download this. Um, um, there's some help, and if you uh, look at the this link you can download it at this uh, URL and this is the latest version 4.9 um, the really useful feature about this um, this latest update is uh, the docking feature so you can dock um, multiple windows um, um, and and this seems like a regular thing, but this uh, this tool really didn't have a good Windows manager until now, so now it has it, and I think that makes it much more interesting uh, and convenient to use. So it's it's a chess database. Uh, it's similar to Chessbase and Fritz and uh, Chess Assistant, um, and you can basically use it to manage your your collection of games. It's free. That's uh, one of the great things about it. So I'll quickly show what you can do with it. So you can basically enter games into a database. Um, now I can save this game. You can analyze, you can have um, annotations added to the different moves and now you have this, this note added. Um, it, it really has quite a dramatic number of, of features. Um, and so I'll, I'll um, today I'll focus on the docking feature and um, and on the score graph. So let's see. Um, let's say I want to annotate a move. You already saw how to do this. Um, uh, you get the this little window, and if you want to, you can move it to the different portion of the. Can do that um, of the screen anyway. Um, and if I want to, I can also add the analysis engine. Let's say I have Stockfish. I'll close the comment editor. So now I have the analysis engine running side by side. So if I, for example, play some really bad moves, the engine is gonna is gonna tell me that oh well now White's really way ahead, and it's convenient because you can click on the moves and see at the same time where the what the engine thinks about the position. It's kind of handy for that. Um, um, and and right now my database is empty. So what I'll do is instead of creating a new database, I'll just load the one that I had used before. So I have a previously created database with a whole lot of my games. And so I'll close this engine for now. Um, and one of the features that this, this tool has is that it lets you annotate your um, games automatically and it adds all the evaluations that it um, uh, considers uh, to be correct for each move and so it gives like a numeric evaluation for the position after each move and the really great thing about this is that uh, you can let this tool run through your like all your games and then you can really go through um, the games and um, see where the, the tables have turned like like where did the position evaluation change quite a bit and this is where the score graph is really really useful so basically uh, it's um, between 0 and 10. So in the regular game, like in, the, in this game for example, the evaluation hasn't really changed much between um, you know 0 and 1. So it was the game was fairly even most of the time and I can even look at the at the turning points and see where um, so like up to this point the computer thinks that uh, white was probably slightly better and after this you know like this um, 
at this point white had some initiative going but with knight f3 he kind of retreated from the attack on the king's side and now you know like white's not better anymore and and all the evaluations from here are kind of leaning towards uh, black and it's not as dramatic here but um, if we look at the other game say like here I can click on the on the graph and I get to the position where white was just slightly better and uh, like for example I can look at this position and I can see that here white's uh, you know like white has initiative but black isn't quite collapsing and with his next move black played b5 he trying to kind of free himself up but um, here white had a great opportunity to to crush the opponent immediately which I didn't go for but um, I could have gone for it. so here white could have played knight to b5 and apparently this is completely crushing um, and it's it's pretty easy to verify that white's winning here. I didn't go for it in the game because I couldn't calculate, I guess, all the all the lines maybe in the king to e7. Um, but I guess the computer can evaluate these positions better than humans. So so here it tells me that I missed a great chance to, you know, to wrap the game up. And so the bar goes really up high to seven, right? So this was my missed opportunity. Then, you know. Black could have apparently, you know, he could have down to the position where he's only down some material, like only two pawns. Instead, he immediately erred back with queen to h6. Uh, and now the position is crushing again. It's back to, you know, a really high evaluation. Um, and indeed, like we can see that now the sacrifice actually does come through, and now white's completely destroying the black king. Um, so that's that for this game. And you can really, you know, just kind of quickly loop through all the games and see the, you know, like roughly how uh, the games have developed. Like some games, you can see that white's always better, and you and just kind of slowly grinds black down. And in some games, you know. Um, it's it's more of like a back and forth, like first white slightly better, then black slightly better, but the game in the end is a draw. So uh, there's a bit less of back and forth. So that's uh, Skid versus PC. I think with the docking feature, uh, which I'm still playing around with, you can uh, manage this tool quite much easier, and um, and the analysis engine is a is a very useful feature. And just to show you briefly how you would do this, you would go to here, you would load up an existing engine, um, uh, it shows up here now, and you can go here and configure annotation, and you can batch, you can tell it to batch the rest of the games, and it's going to, you know, use all the options you set, and it's going to go through all the games you played in the database and just annotate them automatically and I think it's really helpful uh, it's, it's a really helpful tool for you to evaluate your game and just to, to have like a big picture view on you know where the games turn and where you make mistakes where your opponents make mistakes and all that's free and as I mentioned if you want to get Skid versus PC it's a great tool uh, that I think more people should be using and it's available at this URL a lot of volunteers are contributing to it so it's all great. Thanks for watching.